Well, it's my honor to welcome this next amazing guest. Mr. Lee Salsley has been in the news industry for 45 years and he is finally retiring so he can enjoy that leisure lifestyle that we all look forward to when we retire. Now, thank you so much for joining me today, Lee. My pleasure being here. Well, one thing, we know you've done news. Some of us know that you've done radio, but some of us don't know that you have a pretty big passion for painting. Tell me about it and how you got started. Oh, uh, it is a passion. Uh, you know, broadcasting is just my day job. Pay for the paint. <laughs> uh, I've always drawn as a little kid. I drew on everything. I got in trouble in school for drawing on all my papers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, it's something I always wanted to do. And when I hit uh, my 40s, I thought, you know, I really want to do this. And I, so I started getting books and reading books. And I bought some paints and brushes and started making big messes. And, you know, you, and you just build on it and learn from there. So it's. It was a lifelong ambition, but I didn't come to it till my 40s, but I love it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's relaxing. Uh, it feeds your soul. Uh, it does a lot of things. So, well, you know that because you paint, too. Yes, yeah, we had a chance to talk before the interview and share our passion for painting. I love the fact that you started a little bit later in life or really went for it because that's, those are the type of stories that I think we need to hear when we find ourselves sort of feeling like we missed the boat for something we thought we wanted to do is it's never too late. That's right. I, that I, it, it's, it's so true. Uh, I didn't do a lot of things I wanted to do until after I hit my 40s. Uh, like we, maybe we talked in the previous program, I had built a boat, something <laughs> I'd never done. But uh, the art is something, it's, uh, it's a part of my life. Mm -hmm. And it's something I'll do till the day I die. It's just, it. It, it's just something I have to have, something I have to do. It's uh, what well, we were talking earlier. Uh, it, it, you, you tap into this universal force or God or whatever you want to call it. It becomes some, part of something bigger. You get into this flow. Mm -hmm. And with the painting, time just goes away. And what is your favorite medium to use? Is it oil, acrylic? Uh, I'm mainly oil because that's how I started and that's what I'm most comfortable with. Uh, I like acrylic because it's a lot easier and a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've, I've got a long way to go on that. I could show you. I did a couple of acrylic paintings if you like to yes, see them. Absolutely. Let me do this quick. They're just right over here. These are, I painted these on hardboard, which okay. is a smooth surface on a canvas, which, you know, and I'd really never done this before. Wow. So, so that's a that's an old pot. An Indian Beautiful. pot. I was really into uh, uh, southwestern art for a while and mm -hmm. it was a known. What advice do you have for somebody who still has that, that desire lingering for a passion that they want to do? Do it. Just do it. I mean that's to me learning and creating that that's life. It really is. I mean that feeds your soul, uh, and you you really are never too old uh, for most things. I'm probably a little too old now for skateboarding, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe but they, yeah, you hold off on the skateboard. Follow your passion. I love uh, it. It's, it's, yeah, do it. Just do it. Just do Don't it. Don't be afraid. Uh, make mistakes. You learn from the mistakes. Well, my first paintings were awful, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> We don't show those to anyone. <laughs> no, they went in the trash can. <laughs> well, Lee, thank you so much for continuing to inspire us. We bid you a farewell in your retirement. We hope you enjoy your life thank in the hill country. We know you'll be sipping your wine, painting, building boats, and doing all the things that we aspire to do when we retire. And we just want to thank you for your many years of service to our community and to making sure that we have the best news, the most efficient and factual news. And we are grateful to you. Thank you so much.